Cultural Programs Coordinator. And I'm Sarah, the Student Services Office Assistant. And we are from the Student Services Office. Today we are here because we are a special chef for the day and we will prepare some very easy but very delicious Italian recipes. So we're going to prepare an easy dish, fresh I would say. Yes. So it's bruschetta, which is a typical Italian recipe in um, salad. A typical Italian salad, yes. It's a very fresh meal, easy one. Just so you can enjoy it during summertime. Yeah, to enjoy the typical Italian flavors, you know, the gardens, the smell of tomatoes. So let's, let's get started. Tell me something more about the origin of bruschetta, what this word actually means. Yes, of course. So, bruschetta comes from the Roman dialect words bruscare, okay. the modern name, the modern word uh, abrustoliere, which means to toast. The, the origin of bruschetta are uh, traced back in the 15th century. Uh, but oh. probably, yes, probably, even during the Roman times, Roman people used to put uh, to toast bread and to put some olive oil, fresh olive oil pressed olive oil, to taste and mix the typical flavor of bread along with the oil. So it's, uh, we can say that it actually is a meal as old as Rome. Yes, it is, it is it definitely. Is. Well, yes. thank you so much. Okay, so first things first, we want to toast the bread. So first of all, we have to cut the bread into slices. So we're going to cut the bread into slices. Pay attention to your fingers. Always be careful when uh, cutting with a knife. You can choose the number of slices. I mean, this is totally up to you. If it's just for one person, it's okay to have like three, four slices, even because you have this and also the salad. So I'm just going to cut other two um, the slices of bread. All right, so once we have the slices of bread, we want to uh, preheat the pan. You can either use uh, the oven or the pan to um, toast the bread, because we want the bread to be toasted. So we preheat a little bit, just, to, just wait a few seconds, I mean, 10 seconds, and then you can put the toast in it choose the best slices of bread. I'm just making sure that it's actually heating. And now we put the bread into the pan. Of course it takes time to toast the bread. So be patient. It generally takes a few minutes to toast each side of it. Okay, so I think we can just wait like two minutes and then turn the slice of bread. And this is it. And once we are toasting the bread, in the meantime we can start preparing um, the other ingredients. So after cutting the bread, you can start chopping the tomatoes. I decided to cut the tomatoes like this. So. Um, this is for the bruschetta, okay? For the tomatoes, you can simply cut half of the tomatoes so that it's more consistent. While on the bread, we will need small, small, you can chop. You can actually chop the tomatoes like this if you want, if you prefer, so that the mixture of the basil along with the tomatoes is even more, is even better. Um, in the meantime, our bread is toasting a little bit. The eggs, we already put the eggs, they're already like boiling to prepare the hard boiled eggs. So usually it takes nine, 10 minutes, you know, so that they are ready. And um, yes, so just you decide the way that you want to cut the tomatoes. So for the salad, we usually cut like this, like half, you know, but this is really up to you. It's, we're just suggesting new ways of, you know, eating simple, basic ingredients. All right, 
So now that we have the eggs, so the eggs are ready, the bread is ready, it's well toasted. It's white, but you can also toast a little bit more if you want to. So we just need to uh, peel the eggs. This is a very funny thing to do. It's actually quite hard sometimes to peel properly the eggs because otherwise you're going to ruin them, to destroy the eggs. But this egg is actually helping me a lot. So we are going to use the eggs um, for the salad. This is a, I mean, this is quite normal to put an egg into the salad but you can actually add some other ingredients if you want to, of course. This is a very, very simple and easy salad with just some tomatoes, uh, some lettuce, tuna and eggs, but you can also put, if you like, for example, dry tomatoes or other type of seasoning. This is your choice, of course. So when it's ready, I was so lucky, guys. This is incredible. Oh, <laughs> okay. Still a little bit hot, but not too much. Right. So we have the eggs. Um, I think we are going to cut the eggs into uh, four pieces or small pieces. You decide, of course. All right. Don't worry if the yolk is um, is smashed. This is this is quite normal I think. So I cut the egg into halves. All right. You can also um, wait till the eggs are actually cold if you want to put if you want to put them into the salad. So we have the eggs, we can just put them aside. And then we're going to take some basil uh, leaves if you want to add to the salad. can roll the leaves like this. I don't know if you can see it. Just cut them into small pieces. I love basil. I think it has a very tasty uh, flower. So you roll the leaves again. Basil leaves just to is we're going to, to use basil leaves also for the bruschetta that we are going to put um, on the very top of, uh, of the bread and tomatoes. All right. Now that we have this, it's time to mix all of the ingredients. So now it's finally time to season the tomatoes and to prepare, you know, we can say actually the sauce, the mix that will be put just upon the bread. So, what we will need is salt, olive oil, and of course the tomatoes. We can start putting the tomatoes here. So, we said that the smaller tomatoes are the one for the bruschetta. So, the amount of tomatoes it's always tricky part, this, you know, you have to be a chef to do this. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. So, olive oil. Well, you can add later in case you see that the quantity is not Then, just a pinch of salt. This. And of course the basil. We already cut the basil, so it's ready to be put with the tomatoes. And then we toast everything. So we toast the basil. Oh my god, I'm starving, I have to say. It's lunchtime now, so I think that maybe we can add a little bit more tomatoes. Because we have four bruschette. So, for the skeletons, for actually here in Italy, we eat a lot. So, this, I'll 
it. Four bruschette is for two people, let's say. So two bruschette each. And if you want, you can taste it. Maybe you can taste one piece of tomato to see if the salt is enough, is too much, if you need to add more oil. It's perfect. Well, I have to say that tomatoes are very good for your health. Uh, they reduce the risk of heart diseases and cancer. They are full of like, vitamin C, potassium. So they're very good. And you know that botanically the tomatoes are considered a fruit, not a vegetable. But of course we use it as a vegetable. You won't put the tomato in a Macedonia, you know, in a fruit salad. And so, now this part is ready. And we start to put the tomatoes on the bread. You can choose, of course, the quantity that you like to put. Of course, some tomatoes will escape from the bruschetta, but it's fine, you know. If you go in a typical trattoria in Rome, you would see that the bruschette are like this, so you can see. Uh, it, it, they can look a little bit confused, you know, and some tomatoes are just on the plate, but it's fine like this. It's very, you know, how can I say? It's a real, it's a real dish, this, it's a real plate. So, these are our bruschette, but it's not time to eat yet, because we have to prepare the salad. Sara, please, can you help me do that? Absolutely. All right, so it's now time to mix all of the ingredients for the salad. So we have lettuce, but as I said previously, you can use any type of salad, for example, arugula. I love arugula. So we have lettuce in here, it's already washed, okay? So we're going to, we're going to add uh, the hard-boiled eggs into the salad. Since we have uh, these remaining tomatoes, we want to use them, right? So they are already seasoned. There's oil, there's salt. If you like, you can also add some uh, vinegar or uh, balsamic vinegar, which I love. I'm going to put them here. All right. Then we have this basil leaves as they are, which is fine, of course. All right, we have the remaining tomatoes. We're going to season them uh, after all, okay? So, this is very, very um, simple. And then, what left? Oh, tuna, yes, we've got tuna. This is with, uh, this is not natural, this has um, olive oil, okay? So you add, extra virgin, uh, sorry, you add the tuna with the extra virgin olive oil. And if you're not allergic, if you like Parmesan, you can also put um, slices or tiny pieces of, um, uh, parmigiano, you can cut, the, cut it into pieces, or you can also uh, you can also uh, grate the cheese if you prefer, of course. But I think that cutting the cheese into pieces gives more, I don't know how to say, consistency to the dish. Now you have to put some salt. We're going to 
mix to toss all of the ingredients later on, of course, in olive oil. Woo! All right. And now we just have to mix all of the ingredients and we are done, guys. We are actually done. So you toss the ingredients. Of course, I suggest you uh, to taste a little bit. If you want to add more salt, you can add salt or um, uh, more oil. This is your choice. And that's it. This is a very easy recipe. Julia! Julia, it's lunchtime! What are you? Oh my god, I'm starving. Watching us, yes. uh, we did it with extremely, with an extremely joy. It was so fun for us yes. to create these videos. Yes. It's very funny also because we cut some scenes. Yes, you have the behind the scenes actually. Yes. So, what thank remains you. to say? Thank you. And buon appetito. Buon appetito, ragazzi. Buon appetito. I'm gonna take this. All right. I start with this. I have to say, this bread is toasted, it's like perfectly toasted. Oh yes! Perfectly. And also avocado tomatoes did a great job. You did a great 